quick demonstration on how to turn an ordinary piece of wood that's been painted into this which is straight grained mahogany. Something like this. It's very rare that you have to do it but now and again it does crop up. I have done this myself um, a few times. Um, now usually this straight grain where you will see it wooden windows doors UPVC where they fake this look fascia boards doors and windows you see you've seen that sort of look so this is what we're going to recreate so the tools I'm going to be using I'm a two inch pure bristle brush, a stippling brush, pure bristle, a flogger, pure bristle, and obviously this is the Badger Hair Softener. This is obviously pure bristle. Now you don't necessarily just use this for painted timber. Maybe there's some pine that's been used and you just don't like that pine look. Even when you put a mahogany stain on this, it never looks the same. You can simply recreate something like that. Slightly different grain, but giving that same look. So whether it's exterior plastic or existing timber that's been painted, you want to clean it down, make sure it's clean and dry, and then give it a sand. So this is, I would sand with um, a 180 grit, to get it really nice and smooth. And then you need to base coat it. So base coat reds one to aim for color wise is this quarry red so this is Leyland's true guard but it's the quarry red color that we're looking for this one I actually coated up with the hammerite special metals primer which gives me the red. Now you can buy mahogany paint which will have this same colour. You can have it mixed up in whatever base coat you want. But that is the colour that you're looking for. When it's cleaned and sanded down, coat it first of all. Once your first base coat has dried, give it a light sand and give it a second coat. This has had a second coat, it just wants a light sand now. So following with the grain, just lightly go over this to key it to give the next coat somewhere to hold on to. Me dust brush. So I'll dust off. Okay, so I'm working out the tin. In here, I've just got some mahogany. Now this is a water-based paint. Not necessarily the best for this, but it'll do for the demonstration. oil paint you can get a longer working time off them. So I'll take a dip. Just get this coated up. And I'll put plenty on here.
It doesn't really matter too much about the brush marks at this time. I just want to get it fairly even. And then straight away on with the stippler. This will remove the brush marks. Okay, we'll pop that straight into some water. Now with the flogger. We're working slightly on an angle, just beat it. And that's it. And what that will help do is create, put that in some water, is create the wood paws. Now I just leave, need to leave this to dry, put it to one side. This first coat of wood stain is dry now. Now I did refer to this as mahogany paint, but no, it was mahogany wood stain. So the stippling and, well, basically the stippling will take off the brush marks and then that flogging will create smaller dark marks in the timber, which will just give that effect of wood pores. So not easy to pick up in this uh, light, but it is very subtle. Again, once this is dry, Find 180 and we'll give this a rub over. Dust this off. I'm ready for the next bit. So this was just an ordinary mahogany I put on. Now I'm going to use a dark mahogany. Find my brush. I've already stirred this up. all the edges. Okay. Now, using the same brush, all I need to do is just draw it across, closing up the lines each time. Now with the badger softener, just slightly just back across, not the way you've just worked, just soften them off. It's so only lightly. I'll leave that to dry. This one, I've done it slightly more open. So this is dry now. Now you will have to make sure that this has good time to dry because those thicker edges will take just that little bit longer. Now you notice using the badger softener where it's just softened out the thicker edges, feathered them off. So again this is just a straight grain in the mahogany. Anything more fancy in the grain usually is kept for veneers for furniture so recreating this on general woodwork windowsills doors generally you're going to see the straight grain 
that more feathered look in the mahogany comes from the crutch of a tree. So where the tree grows and splits into two branches, just that section is where you get that feathered effect. Okay, so again, 180, and lightly rub this down. Light sand. And then now I've got some clear varnish. So this is a water based again, non yellowing. Just coat this up. Now this goes on quite milky to begin with, but will dry clear. Usually you would get this two to three coats of varnish just to make sure that's fully coated and the thickness of the varnish will just give it more protection. Just wait for it to dry again. Two coats of clear varnish on that, that's dry, that's looking okay. The base coat on this, the colour, was this one here, which is the Hammerite Special Metals Primer. Now, this is only the colour. If you were using a base coat on this, then inside you could use a water-based eggshell. Outside, you could use a, a good exterior water-based eggshell, or, probably better, an oil eggshell and then oil system on top of that. The varnish I used on it was just a mahogany varnish. So that was then stippled on, flogged and then put the grain on. With this one and this one the base coats were both this quarry red which again is just the colour we're going for because you would use the eggshell but with this one when I applied the background the same as this I used a deep mahogany whereas this was just a straight mahogany so that's why it's probably looking slightly darker and again it was brushed with the same to make the grain so, two coats of clear varnish, both of those. Again, with this one, it was the same with the quarry red. But, instead of doing the background the same as this, I literally brushed on, and then just applied the varnish, the stain, and then flogged it with the same brush, which left those slight ridges across the wood almost like rough sawn timber and then with the back of the brush the handle I just literally just put the feathers in only slightly let it all dry sanded it and then again just coated it up with the same stain and then two coats of varnish. So that's just give it a slightly different look to the rest of them. On this piece of pine, knotty pine, you can see how the wood stain, which is the same here and here, just looks completely different on top of the pine. But then with the background colour on, and then overlaid with a bit of stain, straight away it looks different than this. So, good way of just changing something that's white and plain.
to match with something that you may already have 